Hello! The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, everybody! You certainly are. It's been a bit of a busy week for you, hasn't it? Oh, the dentist! I don't know whether I'm coming or going! <laughs> That's what Mummy says sometimes. I think it's funny. <laughs> she does say that, yes, and I do as well. What kinds of things have you been doing? All kinds of tall things. I'll tell you all about it, Daddy, but can I have my surprise first? You definitely can, yes. And it's not just any old surprise, you know. Oh? It's an extra big surprise. This is this. What are you having? It's really, really good and it's come a long way across the sea. Oh, the dishes. Is it something on the surface? Yes, it is. Not at that. Oh, the stasis, mummy. There you go, you pretty girl. Girl, she did. So what do you say? And you want to have a I've been dying to open this one. Alright, we're gonna open it then. Now you might need mummy to help you because there's no finger hole in this one. It's just a big ball, isn't it? That is so pretty, just look at it. Right, now then oh sit up, don't slouch. So you can get your hand here and I'll get my hand here. And let's see if we can do it. Yes, there we go top comes off. There we are. Oh, the dishes. You have that, Daddy. Thank you. Oh, look what we got in here. Right, there's one blind bag. Shall Mummy open it for you? Yeah. Okay, so Mummy snipped the top. So what's in here? Get your hand. I'll help you get it out. Oh, it's a little tiny peeping pop and it's furry. Oh, look at that. It's really furry, not just velvety. Oh, it's a little cheeky. It's bright yellow. How cute. <laughs> doesn't have a card with him. But he's very nice. Does he smell good? Oh, yes, he does. Oh, he smells. I think he smells of coconut. I can smell him from here. Or pineapple, something like that. Doesn't mm, he smell lovely? Very fresh. Scrumptious. I think that's either pineapple or coconut. He's yummy. So we'll put him down here. You hold him, Daddy. I'll hold him. Oh, he's fluffy. He's fluffy, isn't he? Right, what's in here? What's this? There we go. Oh, that's a little pygmy pop badge. How true can you put it on me, Mummy? I won't do it now, darling, because it's tricky and I'm at the wrong angle. But we'll, we'll do it later, maybe. You hold that, Daddy. Okay, thank you. Oh, here's something big. Right, this looks like it might be some kind of a yo-yo or something. You know what this is, Mummy? It's, it's like a little oopsie daisy I dropped it. Can you put it on my finger so I can show? Yeah, I'll put it on your finger. You show people. It's like a little container. And you can open it because we just tried it, didn't we? And you can keep treasures in there. And it's got a little, can you see? It's got, oops, you've got a little seal on there. It's so cute. I didn't know there'd be lots of surprises in here. You've got quite a lot in this one. Yeah, I think we dropped one on him, Ria. I've got it. What's in here? I have to touch again, Mummy. But those things were just the tards and stitches, and it was Pips the chick we got. And it was pineapple that it smelled like, and these are little clips for the toys that we got to help them clip onto things. I'll give you those, Daddy. Okay. We're getting down. This thing looks like it might be some uh, something to help things stand up to. You touch it, Mummy. No, no, Mummy, it's a little pink pen. How cute! Oh, that is a cute one, isn't it? Right, we're down to our very, very last bag. And I think this is another picnic pop, a big one. So I think we'll cut this one like this. There we go. Now, where's your hand? Put your fingers there. So that everyone can see. 
he's a little spotty red doggy. But get away, he's so funny and cute. He's lovely. And he is puzzled at our mason. Because when we were looking under Todd, I seen him. Oh, he's so cute. So we got lovely things out of death. Thank you so much, Auntie Heather. How lovely. So should we just pause to clean everything up a minute and then we'll come back and I'll show you something really tall. All right then. Oh, Lacey, what have you got there? This is my brand new jewelry box. Isn't it beautiful? It's all pink and glittery and it's got jewels on the top, all sparkly. And it's got flowers and butterflies and a unicorn. And it's got a beautiful drawer inside that you can open. And inside there is my necklace, my uh, amulet of Avalon necklace. And then when you open it up... That's lovely, isn't it? There's a little unicorn dancing around inside and it's playing a lovely French tune, Au Clair de la Lune. Yeah, it's really gorgeous and it's got my earrings and there's a place for my ring but I'm wearing that so it, it can't have it. <laughs> there's a good girl. <laughs> so yeah, it's very pretty, isn't it? And we were very lucky to find it. Yeah, I'm a lucky lacy Lou. Uh, you're not only a lucky Lacey Lou because of all the different things that you got, but also you've got someone new in your life, haven't you? Yeah. So do you want to tell everybody about your new brother? Yeah, i got a new little brother. And he's the tallest brother in the whole wide world except Bert. And he's five. And he came the same day Daddy's birthday on Wednesday. And his name's Jack. Now, you were at Ever Roses when he came here on the Wednesday afternoon. And when you got back, what happened then? Well, I run in the house. And I run and bounced around like I do. And, and Mummy said, careful, Lacey, careful, be quiet. There's somebody new here waiting to meet you. And if you bounce around, you might frighten him. And I'm like, oh, goodness gracious, not another new baby, goodness gracious, me, Ichi, what are we gonna do? So I walked careful indoors, and there was this boy sitting in the chair, large as life, and he looked at me, and I looked at him, and then Daddy, do you know what he did? I have no idea, you tell us. He sticks his tongue out. My goodness me. And what did you think of that? Well, he wasn't meaning to be naughty, Daddy. He did, because he, he smiled right afterwards and gave me a wink. So I stick mine out right back. And I smiled back. And then we were friends. Oh, that's really good. And have you played lots of games with him? too many daddy because you see i know what it was like when i was first here i didn't want anything or anybody but boofy and jack's got this cute little soft dinosaur that called chomp well he calls him chompy but his name is chomp really and it's to be frightening when you're in a new place and you just want to sit quietly and get used to the new things so he sits quietly and he holds Chomp and he, he looks round, he watches a cartoon now and again and he talks and he gets cuddles and he has his dinner but he doesn't want to really play much yet. And when he does, I'll be ready. It's in me to take care of him because we know what it can be like, you see, Daddy. I know you do. And uh, he's quite fond of dinosaurs, isn't he? Yeah, he likes dinosaurs. And you talked about dinner just then. What sort of things does he like to eat? Goodness gracious, Daddy. He likes junk food, but we don't want any of that, do we, Icky? So we've made a thing with him. We've said, look, Bert can't cook three kinds of food. He needs to just cook for us and for Mummy and Daddy. So 
You try everything just once, and if you don't like it, you don't have to have it again. And he said he would. And anyway, good food, healthy food, is better for him, and it'll make him get big muscles. Now that thing you made is called a pact, isn't it? A pact? Is that what he's called, Daddy? Yes, that's what it is, a pact. Goodness Daisy. Mm. That's a funny name. So, do you think you two are going to get along really well together? I think so, Daddy. I think so. I wasn't sure at first, because I love my Alfie, but he's only little, and he does ban things up, and he can break things and things. And I thought the boy might be noisy and, and things, but Daddy isn't noisy. He's quiet, and he's nice. And I still the princess. But I think that's the prince. I might marry him when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've told you, you can't marry your brother, Precious. Yeah, but I, I might. I might. If it was allowed later, he could be the prince and I could be the princess. All right. And what's it like being a big sister to two boys? It's very, very strange, but I like it. I like it. I don't know whether I'd like a sister. I think we might fight each other. So I like having boys. I think we've got the ideal thing going on here, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I like, I like Jack because he does need a bit of looking after and I can do that, Daddy. Yes, you can. You can be the perfect big sister. I like spoiling him. He gets, up, he gets upset a little bit, like I used to when I was first here. And, and he, he does try. He doesn't like loud noises, like when Mummy makes the toffee in the buzzy machine. And he tries, and then I can toddle him and say, Don't worry, jack a -dack. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. You'll see. You'll see. And I like doing that. Yes, you'll see. Right, we better go now. Yeah, we better go. But I'll be back again soon. I won't be here tomorrow because um, Daddy Dad's going to the show with Mummy and Auntie Nicole and you and me's going to have Lacey and Daddy Day. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> you won't know what that is, but Auntie Nicole and me know. Auntie Nicole knows. <laughs> Isn't it going to be good? Yeah. All right then, so do you want to close us out in the normal way? All right, I'll come back and see you again soon. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies. And, and let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. Bye-bye.